everybody. It's the Queen. This is my Talk To Me Tuesday for January 30th, 2018. I'm recording this early. It's actually Sunday morning. I have uh, some prior uh, commitments tomorrow and Tuesday, and I'm not sure how my time will be Tuesday afternoon if I would have time to film anything. So I'm going to do it now and uh, get it over with. This week I didn't do much. I did go shopping yesterday and found the fabrics for my Project of Doom. And of course, in typical queen fashion, I am going to do two of them. Not just one. One will be for my family. It will be something that will be passed down from generation to generation, I hope. And the second one is a surprise. So I will probably only show one on my Talk To Me Tuesdays, but on the private group, I will post the progress for both quilts on the Facebook group. I didn't sew anything this week at all. I spent most of my time planning and resting and doing my daycare tax uh, things for the parents because it's promised to them tomorrow. I found a couple of remnants. Um, this was only 50 cents. Two yards. Two yards of uh, candy corn fabric. Not bad at all. 50 whole cents. So that was my big deal for the day. I did get my backgrounds picked out. I went on joanne.com and ordered them on their site and had them pick and pick them up at the store. So that saved me on shipping. Uh, it's one of the things I found that I like to do the most. I usually do it at Target, but now, <clears throat> excuse me, but now that our Joanne Fabric actually offers that service, I'll be utilizing that a lot more because I found that when I go into Joanne, I start seeing other stuff and my cart gets full and my budget is not that great. So the click and pick up feature is, uh, works great for me. This is the fabric I have for one of the uh, quilts. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a, like a stone, it's gray. For the bookcase, I got the wood grain. And the other is just the stone color same same gravel print just a different color I bought this too because I don't know if I ever talk much about it but I do a lot of uh, projects on the loom and I needed this to make the flowers for the headbands I taught one of my little daycare girls how to use a loom and she fell in love with it and her mom fell in love with the fact that she was making something on her own, so they bought her a loom set for Christmas. So on the days that she comes over, she sits and uh, makes baby hats. So we're going to take them all to the nursery when we get a nice big supply. We will um, take them to one of the local hospitals and donate them to the babies because uh, they're just so stinking cute. And... Um, I know the moms would appreciate having something homemade and handmade for their newborns. I do have the back for Jackson's Tummy Time quilt. It's one of the designs that's in his other quilt. I bought this fabric, it's like three yards. I bought this a while ago because I was planning on recovering the cushions for his glider that's in his nursery. But I got lucky and I found a different one. So he's got two gliders. We'll not talk about that. But the one that's in his nursery, we found that later. And the cushions were immaculate. 
the color was perfect so all I needed to do was repaint the chair itself and then add the cushions so I have all this fabric now since it coordinates with his main quilt and his tummy time mat I'm just going to use it I'll probably mix some of those sensory spheres or sensory squares cubes like I did for Camille he only has one window in his nursery so I could make some curtains or a valance to go with it because his main curtains are the lime green I think that would be nice I think that's it for this week be safe hug the ones you love and I look forward to seeing all of your videos this week and I will try to get all the comments done in a timely fashion. Anyway guys, that's it. Have a good week. Bye!